Who in here has ever wanted to own a leather camera? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've always been fascinated by these other cameras. All my life, you know, I used to watch when I go home after school when I was young. I used to go on the National Geographic channel and I always watch that every day after school and stuff. And the reason I've been doing a lot of research on this, so today I want to be talking to you about why exotic animals should be legal. Okay, so one of my main points is there's a low upkeep on exotic animals, and the people with allergies, like pet allergies, is a common pest that dogs and cats is good for them to own exotic animals, and also why exotic animals are good for like busy owners and busy people. Okay, so first, on a low upkeep. There's a, a lot of exotic animals for low maintenance, like lizards, frogs, and spiders, even snakes. And they use basic, like cheap shelters, like uh, cheap bedding and stuff like that, just food. And they don't they don't need a lot of like care for like veterinary care, like a dog would, a cat would, or even a horse. And also, they are even perfect for like urban pet owners, where they, they can easily house the pets. And even though exotic pets may not be like a dog, like do commands, do tricks, and stuff like that, they also, they would eventually, if you do enough like handling with them, they'll even like recognize you and tolerate your handling. But they even might even try to get your attention. And also, for my second main point for allergies. So for me, I'm allergic to cats, like really highly allergic to cats, so I can't have cats around. Even if like the cat's not in the house and it's been in the house, I still like get puffed up, my throat will start closing up, I start sneezing a lot, and my eyes will get a little poopy. So like <clears throat> like okay, so animals like reptiles and frogs, they don't have like fur, feathers, they'd be good for people with allergies and then so you don't have to worry about them. And even though some exotic animals can cause allergies, but it also like exotic animals that don't. And then on my last main point, we have a perfect uh, pet owner. Most of, most exotic animals usually don't need, they can be dependent on their own. They don't need like you to be there every day, care for every day. A lizard don't need to be taken out like a dog, like walk on a thing like And so if you was busy, an individual we got able to be a good way to say they don't need to be taken out and cared for day to day. But if you do enough handling, they was used to be used to be handling, they won't be like they won't bite you, scratch you, that way that run away. So in conclusion, this is why these three main points why we got animals will be good and legal. That's it for that. Thank you for listening.